What's up everyone, it's Josh here from the Architecture Student Vlog and I'm back with another day in the life of an architect vlog. Today's video was a little bit impromptu, I wasn't actually expecting to record a video today but I got called out to one of my sites last minute and I thought it might be cool just to keep the camera running so that you can see the sort of things that I get up to when I'm out on the sites and also for you to see one of the live construction projects that we've got on at the moment that's just started. I also had a few meetings, I was also doing the technical drawings that you saw in the last episode getting out a preliminary issue of those so you could see how it went from start to finish uh, as well as having a few Zoom meetings and a, quite a few various different other bits so let's get into the video So the morning hasn't quite worked out quite as I'd planned. I've ended up doing some more design work on one of the other projects that we've got going on at the moment. But that's going to allow our part one assistants in the office to just crack on with that and get that one finished, which will be a massive help. Um, so I've still got to finish the technical designs when I get back to the office. But first, time to go and take Finn for a walk. So I'm back home now, just walked Finn, time for some lunch, then get back to the office and I've got a site meeting this afternoon. Hopefully we've got some lovely weather going on outside at the moment, nice bit of sun, so I'm hoping to get the drone up and get some nice aerial shots of the progress on site. It's one of our new build projects, it's round the corner from where I live, so I really am looking forward to seeing this project hit the ground running. They've got the access track dug out now, so there's hopefully be quite a bit of excavation works going on. I'll try and talk you through as much as I can, but first I've got to get back to the office, finalise the technical drawings package that you saw me working on this morning and get that one sent off to the client for their approval. I also completely forgot, I also had an impromptu Teams meeting with one of my other clients who've just managed to be able to complete and get into the property that they're looking to renovate. It was great to see them doing some of the internal fit out works already. They're really happy with the design, a few tweaks on the materials and that's another one that can be submitted for planning. So that's another great one to have ticked off, ready to come through the other side and get the technical drawing started on that one. It really is gonna be a beautiful looking project. You should be able to see that here. There are some of the previous iterations that we've done on the Lewis Architecture social media, on the Instagram page, if you wanna go and check that out. Should be a really nice, really modern looking bungalow. Some great adaptions and the client's got a great design flair. So really looking forward to seeing that one getting started on site soon. What's up everyone? I'm now on site at our new build scheme. As you can see, lots of work's been going on, lots of good excavation. The guys have been busy digging the access road, getting all the the soft dig works and getting themselves set up. Not too bad for a week work really. Here's the access being formed. Coming just off the high street. That's gonna then lead you around to the house. There'll be a nice set of new entrance gates just at the corner of the existing property there that would lead you then around to the new build property. So as you'll see, the access road comes in here to the new build property. That there is the client's existing property. Come all the way back in through the access drive into what will be the brand new build dwelling that will sit just behind where this machinery is. As you can see, beautiful site, lovely garden area shielded by the surrounding trees. It's gonna be a real 
nice new build property. So there we have it. There's just a little whistle stop tour around one of the sites that we're working on at the moment. Now it's time to get some drone footage. Bit embarrassing, I've just gone to fly the drone and it turns out because we're very close to a small RAF base that it's actually classified as a no-fly zone. We're yeah. right on the boundary, I thought I might just get away with it. So the drone footage is gonna have to wait till next time. What's up everyone, I'm absolutely gutted about the drone but I think I might have been able to sort it now so hopefully I can get some footage of the site a bit later on in one of my other vlogs but I'm not going to let you down so here's some footage from my archive to satisfy anyone's drone cravings. So the meeting went really well with the client, managed to finalise some details that's made my life a little bit easier when it comes to the technical design and the building regs on that one. What do we have here? Well, opening things one handed is definitely more difficult than I thought it would be. Yes. Hopefully this should up my YouTube game a little bit. So to finish my day, I'm about to record another YouTube video and as you might be able to see behind me, I've picked up my YouTube game a little bit and set myself up a little studio, as you can see there. And that's what's allowing me to transform my YouTube videos from this to this. If you'd like to know a little bit more about how I set all of this up, I'll be honest, I've literally spent about £30 on Amazon to get all of this set up but I just wanted to put a little bit more effort into my YouTube videos. I've been quite interested in video editing for quite a long time anyway, so I thought, let's just see what a difference this would make to the videos. And I've got to say, I'm fairly impressed. I mean, it's certainly gonna let me do things like this. And this. Which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, you might have already noticed that anyway, in the video that I made here. If you haven't watched that already, please go and give it a look. That's me giving you my top tips on how to get a job in architecture. And yeah, that's it for today's video. So thanks for watching guys. And as always, if you'd like to see something in particular, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to try and pick it up. Love to hear everybody's feedback. We had some great comments on my last video, my last day in the life vlog video that I did got in touch with a fellow Wolverhampton architect which is really good to hear from and just try and help out where I could. If anybody else would like help with anything, leave a comment below. See you next time.